isomorphism means if two or more substances if two or more substances having the same crystal structure are said to be isomorphs and the phenomena is known as isomorphism here we we know about the what is substance that is a chemical substance in that two or more substances or two or more chemical formulas having the same crystal structures in that crystal structure we know that crystal structures are nothing but the monoclinic cubical structure tetrahedral octahedral rhomboidal monoclinic trig this chapter are said to be isomorphs the two or more substances but in that they have in the similarity in the crystal structure so they are called, called as isomorphs and the phenomenon is called the isomorphism in these substances the chemical compositions has same atomic ratio in this chemical of substances they are having atoms that atoms having a ratio that the ratio of the two substances the ratio of the two substances having similarity in that see the example of this NaF and MgO see NaF and MgO in that Na one and F also one so one one as one this ratio is one as one and here MgO the Mg is also one atom O also one atom one as one so both are NaF and MgO are the isomorph of each other because they are having the same atomic ratio they are having the same atomic ratio that's why they are isomorphs and the phenomena related with this is isomorphism NaNO3 and CaCO3 these are also isomorph because they have the same atomic ratio Na1 nitrogen 1 oxygen 3 1s1 1s3 calcium carbon and oxygen calcium 1 carbon 1 oxygen 3 so 1s1 1s3 so here also 1s1 1s3 and 1s1 1s3 here also same to same so that's why the both are the examples of isomorphs and they the phenomena related with the they are called as isomorphism see here both are called as isomorphous pairs and have the same atomic ratios in the previously I will told 1s1 and 1s1 1s3 respectively of the constituent atom so uh, repeatedly we see the isomorphism isomorphism means if the substances two or more substances having the same crystal structures they are called as isomorphs and the related phenomenon is called as isomorphism this isomorphism caused due to the same atomic ratio in that substances we see the example of NaF and MgO these are the iso Morphous pairs and NaNO3 and CaCO3 also the isomorphous pairs because they are having the same atomic ratio. In the next slides, we see the second morphism that is polymorphism. The word polymorphism, so we see the a single substance that exists in two or more forms. A single substance, a substance is single, one substance but having two or more forms or crystalline structures is said to be polymorphous and the phenomenon is called polymorphism see here the one single substance also having a existence the in two or more forms this one substance having a crystalline structure but that crystalline structure having a various crystals that is rhomboidal tetrahedral according to conditions so single substance that substance having a several forms several or two or more forms or crystalline structures is said to be polymorphous and the phenomenon is known as poly morphism see here polymorphs of a substance are formed under different different conditions so that substance is single substance that's why there is some conditions will be apply on that single substance and we get the different different form of that particular substance see the water water in liquor form water vapors and water solid so in that there is a water 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 so the single thing is single substance is water but they have a different different forms we take the example of this for understanding but actually the uh, condition is that polymorphs of a substance are formed under different different conditions not on the same conditions example say calcite and aragonite are the two forms of calcium carbonate this is a form of this is a different different forms of calcium carbonate so in calcite also calcium carbonate in aragonite also containing calcium carbonate but both having different different forms or different different crystalline structure that's why they are different their names are different their physical property are different their chemical property is also different second example alpha quartz beta quartz and cristobalite are the three forms of silica are the three forms of the silica 
see SiO2 different different forms because of the conditions this different forms due to different conditions the condition vary uh, the variation in the conditions the variation in the form so alpha chords beta chords and cristobalite all are SiO2 but they are in the different condition called as alpha chords beta chords and cristobalite so polymorphism repeatedly we see that polymorphism is a single substance that exists in two or more forms the substance is single like a calcium carbonate like a silica but they are observed in a different different forms calcium carbonate observed in a calcite form calcium carbonate also observed in a aragonite forms so they both are different forms but they are from a single substance that is a calcium carbonates silica is a one of the single substance but that is exist in two or more forms alpha chords beta chords and cristobalites forms so they are called as isomorphism in that and they are polymorphs of the silica and these are the polymorphs of the calcium carbonate polymorphism occurs in elements is called allotropy see allotropy is also same phenomena like a polymorphism because in the polymorphism also a single substance but observed in a different different forms different different crystals like allotropy see example the three polymorphic or three allotropic forms of the carbons when that diamond graphite and fullerenes so they all are diamond is also the form of carbon graphite also containing carbon and fullerenes also containing carbon so the all three are the allotropes but in that there is a polymorphic structure are present so today we see the uh, isomorphism as well as polymorphism in the next video we see the classification of crystalline solid basically there are, there are four types of the crystalline solids molecular solid ionic solid covalent solid solid metallic solid and molecular solids are three types non polar molecular solid polar molecular solid and hydrogen bonded molecular solids in the next video we see the classification of this crystalline solid so if you like this video give it thumbs up upcoming video notification subscribe to my channel and lastly thank you for watching my video